Hi guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day here in the end times to be driving through this uh, landscape of dead and dying trees here on this spectacularly gorgeous. It is a Sunday morning. It is July 30th, 2023. The hottest July in the history of planet Earth. It is 66 degrees right now. Uh, we might make it to 72 here on July 30th. I see we're heading into the 40s on uh, Tuesday night. On August 1st, it will be in the 40s <laughs> here as we see if uh, August is as cold and rainy and gorgeous as July has been here at Bugs in a Jar Farm. My own dog and I are taking a gorgeous ride through the countryside blowing fossil fuels out our gas sucking trucks ass while we still can. I'm go meet some of my Doomer buddies up at the Stone Cat Cafe in the wine country of Watkins Glen. Just another gorgeous day on the planet. And uh, <laughs> you know, here we were. If it just wasn't for all these dead trees, you know, if it were just not for these damn dead trees uh, and their little doomer skeletons, uh, it would just be, you know, just another day on the planet. Uh, you know, it's not even the end of July and a lot of my apple trees, I would say the majority of my apple trees are already in full leaf drop. I've got this one apple tree that is, uh, I mean, it is just thick, dark green, bushy, beautiful uh, apple tree. One of them, and then I, and then my other 12, 15 apple trees uh, are going to start looking like these ash trees. I have no clue what's going on. I do notice, <clears throat> as far as I can tell, uh, there is not one apple anywhere on my property this year. When uh, I bought this place... Uh, Lord, in October of 2019, uh, there must have been 10 tons of apples falling from the trees, rotting on the ground, and I will not see one apple anywhere on my property this year that I'm aware of. Even the big, beautiful, bushy green tree without a yellow leaf on it doesn't have a yellow apple on it. Anyway, these are just things to be thinking about uh, <clears throat> on this beautiful day. Non-doomers just, just, I guess, just don't think about. You know, I'm wondering, you know, when non-doomers, when normies are driving uh, through uh, some landscape like this, on a on a beautiful day this, this what goes through their minds <laughs> when they're looking at acres and acres of dead trees when they see uh, trees dropping their leaves in July uh, oh yes the maples too I'm noticing a lot of maple leaf drop uh, at the tiny houses each day when I go to sweep off the deck of the, of the tiny houses I'm already noticing uh, maple leaves turning yellow and falling off 
the golden rod I don't know if you can see the golden rod going into bloom in July uh, <laughs> anywho's just you can you can no longer set your calendar by any of this so it is a fine day to get out and uh, watch the destruction of a planet unfold you know here is these uh, these dying spruce trees uh, I already lost mine I only had one of these big beautiful double trunked spruce trees that was absolutely gorgeous in 2019 completely dead uh, I'm not even sure what's killing the spruce trees uh, but anyway just don't look at the dead trees just don't look at the dead trees and uh, you won't see them and there you go don't look up don't look at the dead trees uh, anyway what is going on on this planet uh, oh yes we do have to welcome back a uh, uh, a lost tribe member well actually kind of two I, I notice I have a uh, a comment from my good buddy Groot uh, out in LA wondering why I am ghosting him why I'm ghosting I what was the last time we saw a comment from Groot uh, here I, I told Groot that I think that uh, the YouTube ghost bots are uh, are ghosting him I, I just you know I I wonder how many comments I just never make it uh, over to my channels because you know someone is inadvertently using some sort of word I guess I got a I got another I, I'm like every day these uh, these age restricted bots are working overtime every day I open up to find yet another one of my videos and they're usually videos that are you know several years old uh, that had uh, you know a couple of hundred views that not one person on this planet has looked at in at least two years and, and these goddamn age-restricted bots I guess the one this morning my love note from from YouTube was a depressed collapsitarian retrieves his bank card or something like that uh, so we cannot have the the younger generation uh, facing uh, you know facing whatever people under the age of 18 uh, are dealing with we cannot have anybody under the age of 18 watching some old man uh, get in a fight with his bank over a fucking debit card can't have it cannot have it it will uh, <clears throat> it will corrupt the minds of the teenagers I'm, I'm sure having that and the other 500 fucking videos they have age restricted uh, no longer available to them will uh will damage their lives all right coming into the big town of Spencer New York oh yeah so anyway so Groot uh, I guess one of your comments actually got through today so uh, welcome back and uh, hope the Ghostbusters are working for you but of course uh, <laughs> the, the other person who has returned uh, is none other than Dulcinea uh, we want to uh, we want to welcome Dulcinea back into the fold uh, I thought that I had blocked Dulcinea from commenting on uh, both of my channels and I thought that I had blocked her email address 
but uh, apparently her the blocked email address is getting through to my email I am not sure how she got around that uh, but anyway it is it is good to uh, let, let's all give a big uh, welcome back Dulcinea I guess they let her out of her rubber room finally she although she just told me that she has been to the moon where she has been hiding out she said the uh, Dulcinea is, is back from the moon uh, of course you know the Maggie has uh, fallen completely off the face of the planet it has been what a year and five months since the uh, last time I heard from Dulcinea in the bathtub uh, offering to show me her 70s bush although if I recall that video I think I, I think uh, darling you are showing the entire planet your 70s bush oh boy so anyway Dulcinea is back after a <laughs> after a year and four month absence uh, on the moon so I hope she brought some green cheese back from Elon Musk's uh, planet saving green cheese mine on the moon with her so uh, we will see if Dulcinea cranks her channel back up and it was from her original channel the Maggie May channel back when uh, I first fell in love with Dulcinea it was the Maggie May channel was one one of the funniest uh, channels in the Doomosphere before uh, she went a little bit uh, around the bend on those other two channels so maybe that's all uh, see if we can balance Dulcinea's meds and get her just dialed back enough to bring back uh, her cast of characters from her Maggie May channel we would uh, and her priceless doomer humor I don't know Maggie if you still have those old videos uh, are they just asleep I'm, I'm thinking her uh, her old videos on Maggie May are just asleep and uh, so maybe you will feel like uh, you will feel like bringing those old videos back to life the uh, Doomosphere would greatly appreciate it uh, I guess you can save your 70s bush for some other channel uh, speaking of uh, <laughs> speaking of Dulcinea I have managed I, I hope you guys uh, are giving me some credit for keeping my mouth shut about all of these UFO disclosure hearings and these whistleblowers uh, and what the hell all of this uh, new interest in UFO disclosures by everyone from Marco Rubio to Chuck Schumer uh, <clears throat> you know when when Rubio and Schumer are agreeing on a subject, uh, think you know things are getting weird on the planet. Uh, <laughs> Rubio and Schumer uh, wanting to get to the bottom of the alien invasion. Uh, I, I, I honestly don't know what to make of this uh, I obviously I, I clearly smell a rat 
in the middle of this. Caitlin Johnstone, she couldn't hold back any longer. She came out with a uh, with a rant a few days ago. You know, Caitlin, it, it, for once, uh, it, she admits she doesn't know what the fuck is going on uh, with all of this recent UFO disclosure. She has a suspicion, and it's just a suspicion at this point that this whole uh, UFO disclosure thing is uh, is just one more propaganda uh, exercise by the U.S. Empire to get us to get all our panties in a wad and freaking out. Uh, that the aliens are coming to get us so we can start pumping money into the uh, the Space Force uh, that this is all a uh, just a big smoke screen to uh, ramp up the next phase of the the next obvious phase of the military industrial complex to start pouring billions of dollars of taxpayers money uh, into the new space force uh, and, and I, I honestly don't know what's going on but but to the degree that it is legitimate and I do think this dude from Tennessee, this uh, redneck firebrand, I can't remember his name, I like the guy, uh, I do think he's for real, uh, that he really does uh, want to want to take this subject seriously. But, uh, you know, good for the mainstream media for actually, the, you know, the mainstream media is, is playing this story straight, uh, which is, uh, I think that's a good thing. I have no problem with the mainstream media playing this story straight about the, uh, about the space aliens. Because, you know, guys, it's true or it's not. Either, either we're being visited by space aliens from other planets or we're not. It, it, it's true or it isn't. It's, it, it, now, of course, there's the other angle, which is the angle in my own life about the uh, space aliens uh, riding in on a on in from another dimension, riding in on the spirit molecule DMT, which is you know I was dealing uh, with those little fuckers for 22 years these these little interdimensional beings, uh, so I'm uh, I'm I'm more leaning towards the interdimensional beings but uh, I guess we're just going to uh, keep debating this topic until until they get here in their in their little tic tacs in their little Cubes and spear and spheres and whatnot. But, uh, little dog, what do you do? What did you do? You got your neck and the camera strap. Uh, I'm just rambling along. So I, you know, I just had a couple of my Doomer buddies in town for a few days and uh, got into some uh, some interesting discussions uh, w one of which uh, was about physics you know the, the laws of physics and uh, my buddy Roy 
Uh, so Roy, I, 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 I might be not getting this 100% correct, but the bottom line, I think what uh, Roy is, is saying, according to the laws of physics, every single thing uh, happening on this planet today was predetermined 14 billion years ago. It was set in motion 14 billion years ago. There is no such thing as free will because it is a, a law of the universe. It is a law of physics. So uh, he was claiming that so what it was we were several of us uh, in a way so we, we met up with Sandy so there were four of us meeting up for dinner at a Mexican restaurant in Hornell New York uh, in 2023 and according to Roy's interpretation of the laws of physics, that dinner meeting was set in motion 14 billion years ago. Just like, you know, my little uh, brunch meeting uh, up here in the wine country today. Uh, I can't not have this meeting unless of course the universe uh, you know predetermined 14 billion years ago that my truck is gonna break down in the next 20 minutes uh, but uh, according to Roy and he had some little diagram he was sharing uh, at the table from some uh, Nobel Prize winner some little uh, diagram he wrote on the back of a dinner receipt uh, how it was predetermined that the four of us were sitting in that Mexican restaurant uh, a few nights ago that that has been in the works for 14 billion years and there's nothing that any of the four of us could have done to change that. We have no free will. So, like, uh, if we had gotten there and the restaurant had been closed, and so we decided instead of Mexican food, we said, huh, it's closed let's go get a pizza instead that uh, that has nothing to do with free will uh, it, it you know our decision to go get pizza instead of Mexican food was predetermined 14 billion years ago you know everything we ordered to eat uh, was uh, set in motion 14 billion years ago. Uh, I'm not buying it. I told him I, I'm not fucking buying it. Am I 100% ruling out that me being in this truck, having this rant at this moment was predetermined 14 billion years ago. Uh, can I rule that out? The answer is no, I cannot rule it out. I cannot prove that uh, it was predetermined 14 billion years ago that this ash grove uh, was was predetermined to die. Can't rule it out. Uh, however, I'm not buying it for for one second. You know, so we, of course we got into to the discussion. Um, you know, we, and, and what amused me was how tenaciously 
he was defending his position. I, I was really surprised. I thought I knew this dude, but uh, I, I was shocked at how absolutely tenaciously he was uh, defending this position. Uh, we got into this discussion about the Six Sigma level of certainty, which I think the Six Sigma level of certainty is 99.9999% sure. So I guess uh, anybody who, well, I can't say anybody, I guess I, I can only talk about my buddy. He is 99 point ninety nine ninety nine percent sure that uh, our meeting for Mexican food was predetermined 14 billion years ago uh, he's read a lot of books he told me he has read Roy has read a lot of books he has uh, watched a lot of YouTube videos uh, I, I assure you that Roy knows more about the laws of physics than I, than I ever will because I really don't give a flying fuck. Uh, I give about as much of a flying fuck uh, about the laws of physics as I do about astrology, for instance. I don't, I don't want to insult you, Ariel. Uh, you know, of, of course, Roy, uh, it goes without saying. Uh, I think he's like Sigma 12 uh, on his opinion of astrology. That uh, absolute unadulterated fucking horseshit on every level uh, you know the position of the fucking planets uh, influencing anything uh, on uh, on this planet he, he completely rejects it he he doesn't give a flying fuck uh, how many people uh, have read a lot of astrology books, uh, have uh, listened to a lot of astrology YouTube videos, and are as convinced that the fucking position of the planets has anything to do with uh, your personality, your worldview, or whatnot. I, I generally agree with Roy on this, but uh, I am not going to uh, 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 eliminate the possibility, just like I'm not going to eliminate the possibility that us agreeing to go get Mexican food was predetermined 14 billion years ago. Uh, I find I, I find them uh, about equally patently absurd, and uh, so he he pointed out that astrology had nothing to do with uh, making airplanes fly; that it is the laws of physics that allow a multi-ton hunk of metal to fly through the air and uh, I, I have no problem with that I agree with Roy to a six Sigma level of confidence that the laws of physics have more to do with why an airplane uh, can fly than astrology has to do with why an airplane can fly but trying to compare the physics of flight to four people on a planet of eight billion people meeting together at a Mexican restaurant at a specific date and time and place uh, it, it is patently absurd. Uh, there is no comparison between those two, uh, none 
whatsoever on any level uh, to, to try to, m m to make that it, 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 it is such a monumental blunder of logic. I, I, I don't even know uh, how many logical fallacies. But anyway, we had a, a fun discussion about that. Uh, and the bottom line is that everyone in the car, I, I noticed uh, Fat Boy was being totally silent. This, this was totally a conversation between me and Roy. Fat Boy uh, had nothing to add to this conversation. I do know that Fat Boy hired uh, Ariel to uh, read his uh, horoscope and seemed quite satisfied with Ariel's uh, interpretation of how the alignment of the planets was uh, uh, affecting his life. All right, but we all agree we are all to a Six Sigma level. Everyone in the car agreed to a Six Sigma level that we are fucked, that we are completely fucked. Uh, it was whether or not we agreed that it was predetermined 14 billion years ago uh, that we're fucked, whether the alignment of the planets. Uh, as Ariel believes, uh, has anything to do with the reason we're so fucked or not. Uh, we were all in agreement that we are fucked uh, and for whatever reason, and there's not a fucking thing we're going to do about any of it. It's like... So this is a stand of white pine trees uh, dying, which makes me obviously very nervous to see that uh, stand of white pine trees uh, dying. It would uh, it would be pretty devastating if the white pines it bugs in a jar. Uh, start dying and, and within 10 miles of me I notice that uh, that the white pines are fucked uh, they will you know the white pines and the hemlocks and the spruce all will uh, there, there's no turning this back. It was predetermined, uh, I guess, when humans uh, became a, the, the biggest invasive species on the planet. It was predetermined that the white pines and the hemlocks and the spruces uh, at Bugs in a Jar Farm are fucked. And I am just racing my uh, white pines to the grave. So this is coming into my old haunts of Montour Falls. So I lived here in 2019. In 2019, uh, this was a beautiful ash grove here in Montour Falls. And uh, I'm pretty sure that's about the time those trees showed their first little hint that things were not right on the planet. But anyway, coming into the big city, so I uh, better start paying to my paying attention to my driving. Get out there and enjoy uh, Sunday brunch on a gorgeous 72 degree July day. While you still can.
Bye, guys.